What's happening, Gemini gang? Gemini gang. Hey, turn up. Y'all always emailing me about the song, so I decided to do the song today. Happy Thursday, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. Oh, whatever day you're watching this, all right? All Gemini placements, take what resonates, a leave of the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, all right? Personal readings are in the description box, guys. On the website, hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. <laughs> hit those subscribe, y'all. Y'all know what it is. So let's see what's going on with you, okay? Well, what the hell? Look what came out, y'all. I'm gonna have to adjust that light. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, because you can't even see that. There it is. The runner and the chaser. <laughs> Let me find out where the chaser was on the top. So we'll put it that. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Gemini's. <laughs> All right. Then we have ascending. Okay. So um, these are random words on here. All right. So take them how they resonate with you. Okay. So we have fear of abandonment, chasing, and codependencies. So we have the chaser. Then we have the runner, okay? Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. Ascending, we have learning and expansion, transcending, preparing for union. Why do I keep dropping this card? And new phase okay and then I have coffee cup here on the bottom meeting and talking savoring the moment feeling elevated and building friendship so let's see what is going on with Sha Gemini's okay um, we got the runner and the chaser okay um, it's possible the roles have reversed that could be why I'm seeing it like this Okay, so let's see what's going on. One card, period, spirit, please. One card. Thank you. Well, <laughs> the Eight of Cups. All right, we have the Knight of Wands here on the bottom. Could be a Sag you're dealing with. Yeah. Um, either you or this person. Um, I feel like something has has flipped. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Page of Cups on the bottom. Okay. So what it's looking like to me, Gemini's, the roles have flipped. Gemini's, now take this out of context because this could very this could be you. You could have been the runner. Okay. I feel like uh, who's ever the whoever the chaser is is no no longer wants to be the chaser. Okay, whoever the runner is, I feel like it's regret being regretting a lot being the runner. Um, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Now I almost saw the high priestess, but it didn't flip over all the way. But the Hierophant did flip over. Some of you guys are ascending. You're learning. Some of you guys are, um, you're learning spiritual lessons, but some of you may be teaching them as well, even if you don't realize you're doing it. <clears throat> teaching someone a very valuable lesson. Ace of Wands. Ooh. Now, under the Ace of Wands is the Three of Swords. So seeing this, um, I've said in other readings, depending on what this card comes out with, it could be about breaking the silence. It could be about talking to someone after not talking to them for a long time. Because if you think about it, the Two of Swords, which cards are in a suit, the Two of Swords is a standstill. It's it's usually um, no communication with the Two of Swords unless it's you know next to something that says it. But this, the Three of Swords, is about communication because the Threes are about expression. Okay. Um, and this could be about someone could be expecting to get their heart broken. Four, four, four. When I looked over, someone could be, um, like I said, wanting to talk to you. Even which meeting and talking, yeah. Someone wants to break the silence. Um, 
Gemini's if that is your story if you're you're not talking to this person uh, but this the three of swords can also be about hard conversations um, things that people don't necessarily want to talk about uh, but need to talk about need to let out truth truth coming out could be painful truths okay take it how it resonates with you <laughs> the temperance sag energy again um the eight of pentacles love it oh gosh gemini's or again this could be you uh gemini's three of swords mm, you have to decide who who is who for you uh gemini's king of pentacles nine of pentacles knight of pentacles oh you know what <laughs> what's interesting about this is someone may feel like you have somebody else or they feel like you are going to replace them someone's also really really hurt someone was the runner here but they regret doing that they regret doing that so it's almost as if this person might be seeing you as the runner now. Take it how it resonates with you. Um, it could go either way. This person is hurt because they see you as the runner or uh, and or because it could be both. Um, this person was the runner and they regret it. They, they regret not um, accepting you and accepting your love and accepting what you had to offer them. It's like this person, and this is for people that I keep seeing the four of wands. So some of you may be dealing with a spiritual connection or a um, soulmate of some kind that you feel like is a soulmate. But I feel like this person is usually the one that runs. So this, this is for those of you that got away from this person. <laughs> you quit chasing, you quit putting in energy. And yeah, whoever this is, is feeling that I'm starting to feel it. I'm not doing no crying today, spirit. I got too much shit to do for that. <laughs> I can't be walking around with my eyes all puffy today. I can't do it. I can't do it, y'all. I'm not going to be doing no crying and shit like that. Okay. Hold on, y'all. So I'm seeing a death card here on the bottom. Y'all know I love the death card. Ugh. All right, because cards are going. Oh, and the death is over here as well. Mm -hmm. Lots of changes. I love it. All right, let's see. Thank you, Spirit. Page of Swords, you are teaching someone a lesson. The Emperor, somebody. Ooh, somebody is learning a lesson. Somebody is learning. Someone I feel like is, is seeing that they need to learn how to grow the fuck up. Some of you are, um, some of you are, um, teaching this person something. Like this person sees you as, even if you don't, oh, you know what? I just now realized this said learning and expansion here on the card. <laughs> I'm looking at the Hierophant. Okay. Wow. The lineup here is insane. Uh, Gemini. So like I said, either you're learning something or this person is. It could be both of you easily. But I feel like you're teaching this person a lesson or you taught this person a lesson. Especially if you walked away from this person. You stopped engaging. That's a, This is for those of you that are bold enough to be like, we're done type situation. Until you change, I'm done. Um, and that's not communicating. It's not, you know, the extra. I feel like you taught this person a lesson and you had to do this. Like you had to walk away from this person so they could see how it feels. Because like I said earlier, I feel like this person, they're the ones that usually is the runner and people chase after them and they ghost and they, they half ass and they breadcrumb and they, this, that, the other to people um, because they need healing. 
And I feel like now, now they're on the other side of it. Because usually this is you here, Gemini's. But I feel like you're also the chaser. Again, take it how it resonates because it could easily be reversed, okay? Because you could easily be the runner, okay? That's now in regret for running, all right? So take it how it resonates. But I feel like um, whoever I'm picking up on is usually the chaser. And the chaser, it doesn't want to chase anymore, period. Uh, the chaser is healing. The chaser is also learning lessons. The chaser is getting balanced within themselves. You're no longer, you're, you're working on that fear of abandonment. You're working on that codependency. So you, you no longer need to chase after this person. But now this person's like, damn. Because this person has a fear of intimacy. They're always running away when things get deep. They always, they always run away when, you know, things get too emotional or too intense and things like that. So now they're starting to see how that shit feels because they've invested feelings into this connection. So now they're starting to see, damn, this is how Gemini feels when I ghost. This is how Gemini feels when I disappear, when I have ass, when I breadcrumb. And let me say this, you guys, and I've said this in many other readings, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are working on yourselves. I've said this in many other readings, okay? It's not your job to punish anyone, okay? That That is spirit, God, whatever it is you believe in, that's their job. If you want to pull away from somebody like this Eight of Cups temperance here, this energy is about healing self. This is about he healing your attachment issues. Healing your codependency issues. Fuck the, the twin flame shit. Fuck all that shit. You can't leave that person alone because you have a fear of abandonment. You have attachment issues. That's why we see that devil a card a lot in y'all's readings. That's what y'all's issue is. It has nothing to do with y'all's connection. It has nothing to do with you being a twin flame and all that other stuff, okay? Do I believe twin flames exist? Absolutely. 222 two, two, and I looked over. Absolutely. But twin flames are also there to teach you something about yourself. Okay? So when you pull away from someone, your intention should never be to teach them a lesson. That's spirit's job. That's God's job. That's their job. That's not your responsibility. You can only change yourself. You can only learn your lessons. So the beauty of this, though, is when you pull away and your intentions are pure. Your intentions are, I want to work on me. I want to get me together. I'm tired of hurting from this person. I'm tired of heartbreak from this person. I need to pull away for me, for my own sanity. Then that's when you get blessed. But you don't get blessed when you're playing games. It's just what it is, um, Gemini's. Because I can't stress it enough. It's not your job to teach somebody else a lesson. It just happens that way, okay? <laughs> the three of pentacles, three, 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 when I looked over it, some of you guys are about to talk to this person. The sun's on the bottom. They've been waiting for a long time to talk to you too. Somebody really, really wants to talk. Like really, really wants to talk. Somebody wants to cooperate. They're ready to cooperate. They're ready to compromise. They're ready to meet you halfway. If you're in, if you're willing, they're willing to um, start off with as friends first. If you want to deal with this person again, they're willing to like date you first and and like literally start over with you. And whether you realize it or not, Gemini's, this person learns from you. It's I see like a a very um teacher student dynamic again even if you don't realize that's what you're doing a lot of you don't even realize that's what you're doing a lot of you took time to yourself to heal and so it kind of forced this person to do the same for those of you that if this resonates okay if you're dealing with someone that is that actually wants to change and actually wants to do better excuse me yeah so i feel like um you encourage somebody uh Gemini's you inspire someone here but I will say this 
it did take them kind of getting a taste of their own medicine. I do feel like things have flipped between you and this person. Um, and this person finally sees how it feels. <laughs> the queen of pentacles could be a Capricorn. The chariot could be a cancer on the bottom. Yeah, so I feel like for a lot of you, you took your focus away from the connection, this person, whatever, and started focusing on yourself, focusing on your finances, focusing on your physical, physical appearance, which I keep getting for you guys. Um, I got that yesterday in the um, Oracle, the Oracle in the Oracle card. It said you may even change how you physically look. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just changing stuff about yourself, changing your material world. Um, pouring more into yourself and not necessarily into uh, this other person or other people in general. Getting more balanced, uh, Gemini. The more balanced you are, the less codependent you are. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't want a connection. And I feel like that's the disconnect. People get caught up in this self-love stuff to the point where people think that just because you, um, you preach self-love... That that means you don't want a connection and that's simply not true and you can't use self-love to avoid your spiritual lessons because when you get into a connection you're going to have a whole new set of lessons and i feel like that's this that's the case here for some of you <laughs> two of pentacles mm -hmm. Someone having to really, really, really prioritize their um, their thoughts and their feelings, uh, Gemini's. And this could be you. Five of Wands on the bottom. Something they could have been fighting for a long time. I feel like this person had been fighting for a long time. And I feel like you may be dealing with someone that likes to um, that have, the, have these power struggles with you. To, to keep control, to maintain, maintain control so they don't fall too deep because they do have this fear of intimacy. So they don't fall too deep. They try to keep things controlled, um, Gemini. So I feel like now this person's having to take a really, really good look at themselves. Now they're having to prioritize this healing that they've been avoiding and running away from. And you've had to, uh, you forced this person to do this. And again, this could easily be you, uh, Gemini's baby. <laughs> the magician. I fucking love it. I'm also seeing the page of swords here again. So let me say this, Gemini's, and this could easily be either one of your energy. This person sees you as like, this person sees you as, how can I put it? Because my the first phrase that, that popped into my head was dope as fuck. Like this person sees you as dope as fuck. They feel like you're a master manifester. That you can pretty much manifest whatever you want. And I feel like this person may feel like you can help them. You can help them uh, expand. You can help them be better. You can help them have a better life. Uh, but it required... In order to have somebody in your life to help you, you have to have, you have to let your guard down and you have to get rid of some of your ego. But a lot of times people can't get rid of their ego enough to learn from someone else. So I feel like that's what this person is kind of going through. So like I said, I, I just get a huge, especially seeing the Page of Swords again while the Magician comes out. And seeing the Page of Swords with the Hierophant, some type of teacher-student thing. Like this person learns from you, even though you may not recognize that or see that. I feel like this person lo loves your loves your positive energy which is what i was about to say with the star card they love your positive energy they love your outlook on life they love how you have this unwavering belief in yourself for whoever this resonates with okay because i know all y'all ain't got that <laughs> the way you always keep pushing and i feel like a lot of you guys you kept it pushing um it may have hurt this person five of pentacles i feel like you didn't let Whatever happened between you and this person break you down. It's in fact a lot of you are better than ever. 
Like you coming back better than ever. You didn't drop 15 pounds. You're looking good. Your skin is clear. You know, you're not tripping. And I feel like this person is pretty impressed. They're, they're a little bit down and out. Fuck, I'm good. <laughs> they're a little bit down and out about it. Like, damn, Gemini's, Gemini really don't need my ass for real. <laughs> Actually, Gemini's looking better when I'm not around and doing better when I'm not around. Uh, type of thing. The Ace of Wands again, you guys, with the chariot on the bottom. Oh, yes, baby. They're coming to spark, put the spark back into this connection. Um, and they're determined to do so. Gemini's, they're determined to make this work with you. Let me get one more since we have two Ace of Wands. <clears throat> mm -hmm. King of Swords. Love it, love it, love it. I'm also seeing the Eight of Swords here uh on the bottom so there could be some insecurity there between you and this person especially if they see that you're doing well if y'all meet up and you're you're looking a lot better your skin is glowing you're you're looking better you're glowing you're not really you know you haven't really been studying this person you may have gone through your grieving and your heartbreak but you shook that off and you kept it moving but i do feel like something has turned here I feel like now they see, they're, they're starting to see how you felt. The tables turn, don't they? Child. All right, let's get a couple of these and then I'm gonna wrap this on up. I wish I accepted your love. Literally, I just said that earlier. Literally, I told you this person wishes that they hadn't ran, that they hadn't played games, that they had prioritized you. <laughs> Will you wait for me? Some of you are like, no. <laughs> oh, what I tell you? My money is funny right now. I told you they can't get right. They can't get right. So while you over here living it up, doing well, they aren't. They aren't at all in no way, shape, or form. Not mentally, not emotionally, not financially. And if they are doing okay financially, they're not doing as well as they were. And I feel like they they want they want uh, guidance from you, Gemini's. I'm not the same person. I've changed. Mm-hmm. You had to. <laughs> you ain't have no choice because this person, Gemini's, and I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Okay, y'all know I'm always honest with you. This person has to change in order to be in your life because I feel like for a lot of you, you had to get rid of this person, at least for the time being. And I picked this up in another reading. You had to get rid of this person for where you're going. If they can't keep up, they're just going to drag you down. And it's just a fact. If you can't let go, you're going to go down. You're going to go down. I almost said you're going to go down to hell with them. Um, you're going to be dragged down with them what I tell you. What the fuck did I tell you? What did I tell you, Gemini's? Hurting you only hurt myself. No, literally. Because now the roles have reversed. Now the roles have switched. Now they see how you feel when they do this bullshit, when they do this ghosting or whatever. Child. Not reaching out. I'm seeing things differently now. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> could be a water sign a pisces cancer or a scorpio or something about that is significant water is also emotion emotions i want to see you right now mm -hmm. yeah i bet you do did you put a spell on me <laughs> oh my goodness they just can't fathom nothing in my life is the same since you left literally gemini's literally i'm all alone Ciao. <laughs> what about us? What about us? I feel like that could be the conversation that y'all have. It's always been you. No, literally, Gemini's. It, it has always been you. But they ran. They ran. I really have a hard time expressing my feelings and emotions. And now you running. Or you got away from them, honey. Broken hearted. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get one more of these and I'm going to wrap this on up, child. 
You deserve much better than me. Mm -hmm. All right, Gemini's. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.